Hello YouTube, it is MattCapel10256 and today um, I'm using a different screen recorder. Um, a lot of people have I show you, so now I can pause and make my videos shorter. Um, yeah. So, like for terminal codes, because those are really, sometimes really long. I'm going to have a second terminal lesson. If you're wondering why it automatically went to my second space, go to System Preferences, Expose, and Spaces. And once you enable Spaces, you can make it so one app is, a, is assigned to a certain space. So I'm going to be showing you a couple terminal tricks. That's just my organizer. Um, I have this terminal files directory, which is another word for folder, and I have this console file. Now it's locked, so you cannot edit it. And here's how I do that. Okay, I'm going to pause. Okay, so I typed out the code. It is CD desktop, so. That makes that puts you on your desktop as you can see right there. And then you have PSAU spa PS space AUX space greater than space console. Um if um console right here you can name it whatever you want. I chose console, but uh yeah. Um, if it has multiple words, then put quotes around it. So then we're going to hit enter. And you can type in cd dot dot. There we are. Now we can just go into console. And then it shows you whenever you get an error, it overwrites this document telling you whenever you get it. Now, how did I lock it? So you're going to right click or control click it click get info I'm gonna minimize terminal for now and you can you can click locked right here but first I'm gonna give it a green label as you can see right here now but now I'm gonna lock it and I'm gonna make it so I can only r read but first off we need to unlock it so we could do that. So we need to make it so we can only read it. Now, also in terminal, you can remove the file. So I'll type out the code. Okay, so it's CD desktop or wherever you put it. And then RM in the name of the file. Then, um, just type in yeah. yes okay so we're actually gonna gonna have to unlock it now remove it um yeah just drag it into the trash then empty it some more stuff is how did I do th how did I um or you know whatever um how to uh, um how to put gradient behind stacks as you can see it has this gradient effect behind stacks now I will say if you are on Snow Leopard, you can only use the arrow keys on your keyboard to see this gradient around the icons. But if you're on Leopard, you can just use the mouse. And so how do you do that? I'll type out the code. So I'm going to pop. Okay, so to get that gradient behind your stacks, um, you're gonna have to type in defaults right com dot apple dot doc 
space mouse dash over dash hill tay dash stack space dash boolean space capital Y capital E capital S then kill all one word space doc with a capital D enter now some stuff might have come up okay so now you have your gradient behind your stacks it's pretty good I like it. I really like it. Um, some more stuff is how to uh, get to your uh, Macintosh HD. Well, first off, I'm going to type in clear. So, it scrolls down enough, so I just have that's the only line there. So, I'm going to pause. Pause. Okay, so I typed out the code. To exit the desktop, I typed in cd space dot dot. Um, that always that doesn't always work, especially if you're like in the Macintosh HD folder. Next, I hit enter. That put me on my home folder. Then cd space slash volumes. And then I hit enter, and then ls, which shows me which is in that folder. And then I did CD, quotes, Macintosh HD, end quotes. Now, um, y or you could just type in CD space backslash. Now, when I hit enter, as you can see right here, let me highlight it. Right there, Macintosh HD. Now, if you type in LS, you can get all the stuff that's in my Macintosh HD. And now, um, you can even uh, type in ls dash l space dash l. Now, all these codes will be in the description. ls dash l, and then you get all of this. You get the total and uh, some coding or what your permissions are, um, a number, who owns it, if they're an admin. Um, more stuff, when it was last edited and where it is. So you got all that. And if you type in df space dash k, you get the, f the file system, the 1024 dash blocks. I don't know what those are. How used, available, capacity, and mounted on. So this is mounted on my home folder. And now I'll type in clear. So that's a basic tutorial on how to CD to your Macintosh HD. See what's in a folder. See your permissions, numbers, who owns it. If they're an administrator, staff, numbers, the date and time. And where it is, and how to check the file system, the 1024 dash blocks, used available capacity percentage, and mount where it's mounted on in terminal. And I also showed you how to create a console, um, how to remove anything. How to get this gr graffiti behind stacks and how to clear and make it scroll down to a place where you can only see that line.